yeah, so for the thing with surfaces is that, um, so basically there was a study that looked at um, how when you they put virus, certain amount of virus on different surfaces, cardboard, stainless steel, copper, and plastic. And they they reported that on stainless steel and plastic, this virus can live for three days, which is, you know, very horrifying. And right. I've seen people like be like, don't let your kids touch anything because the virus is living on the surface for days and days. And when you look at the actual data, and basically one of the important things to understand with this virus is this concept of infectious dose. Do you know what that is? Mm. I don't know people, people the, 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 so, so there, there's like kind of a threshold amount of a virus that you yes. need to be infected, I imagine, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's basically what infectious dose is. And when they did the study, they didn't really consider that. And when they're kind of evaluating what you know what they're saying that this is highly infectious or this can exist for a certain number of days so first of all we don't know the infectious dose of sars cov 2 but sars there's kind of been some ballpark estimates of what the infectious dose is and so when you kind of adjust um for that like really the virus doesn't really live on any surface longer than a day hmm. and that's on plastic everything else is like a few hours so it's, mm. it kind of really changes how you talk about things when you're like worried about a virus living on surfaces for days versus like, yeah, it's like you, you sneeze on it and then it will die over a period of time and you don't have to worry about it. 